Zeiss Ultra Optimeter. The Zeiss Ultra Optimeter is another mechanical optical comparator that can provide higher magnification than the simple mechanical optical comparator. It is used to compare the dimensions of given working component with the actual working standard. Zeiss Ultra Optimeter is a type of optical comparator, and it uses two reflecting mirrors to improve the magnification. This is the only difference between Zeiss Ultra Optimeter and other optical comparators. This video will cover the followings about Zeiss Ultra Optimeter. 1. Construction. 2. Working. 3. Advantages and its disadvantages. Let us see the construction of Zeiss Ultra Optimeter. It consists of following parts. Light source. Green filter. Condenser lens. Index marking. Two reflecting mirrors. That is, M1 and M2. Plunger. Objective lens. Graticule screen. Eyepiece. Working of Zeiss Ultra Optimeter. The light rays from the light source passes through the green filter. The function of the green filter is to allow only the green light and filter the remaining all the colors in the light. After passing through the green filter, the light rays pass through the condenser lens. The function of the condenser lens is to focus the rays of light onto the movable mirror, M1. After passing through the condenser lens, the light rays pass through the index marking and carries image of the marking along it. We can see there are two mirrors, M1 and M2. Here, M1 is the movable mirror, which is pivoted at point O, and its movements are controlled by the plunger, which is attached at its bottom. Whereas, mirror M2 is fixed. The light rays from the condenser lens fall on the mirror M1 and get reflected on the mirror M2 and again reflects back to the mirror M1, and the light rays which gets reflected by M1 fall on the objective lens. The objective lens will collect this image and projects it onto the graticule. The graticule is a screen having vertical and horizontal lines like a graph to create coordinate point. This image on the graticule is observed by the eyepiece. By observing the image, we can compare the actual working dimensions with the standard dimensions required. Let us see how magnification is achieved. The factor of magnification depends on the distance between the plunger and the pivot point O, which we can denote by X. The movement of plunger, which we will denote by letter H, and focal length of the objective lens, which is denoted by letter F. Therefore, Magnification is equal to 2 into focal length into angular movement of the mirror divided by plunger movement. Here, angular movement of the mirror is denoted by delta theta. Delta theta is equal to h divided by x. Hence, we can rewrite the above equation as magnification is equal to 2 into f into h divided by x into h. After simplifying, magnification will be equal to 2f divided by x. Advantages of Zeiss Ultra Optimeter 1. High accuracy. This comparators have very few moving parts and hence gives higher accuracy. 2. No parallax error. The scale can be made pass through datum line and thus have higher range and no parallax error. 3. Higher magnification hence, suitable for precision measurements. 4. Optical lever is weightless. 5. Illuminated scale. Since scale is illuminated, it enables reading to be taken, irrespective of room lighting conditions. Disadvantages of Zeiss Ultra Optimeter 1. As the magnification is high, heat from the lamp, transformers etc. may cause the setting drift. 2. Depends on external electrical power supply. 3. Apparatus is usually bulky and expensive. 4. When scale is projected on a screen, the instrument is to be used in dark room. 5. Instrument is inconvenient for continuous use because the scale is to be viewed through an eyepiece. Hope you have understood the Zeiss Ultra Optimeter. If you like this video, then let me know by clicking on the like button. And if you are new to ADTW, Click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification to get all the latest videos. And support our work by sharing this video with your friends.